There's a prophecy that says that at this time in Earth history, the eagle and the condor will rejoin, remembering they are one. They will reconnect and remember their common origin and share knowledge and wisdom and save each other. The eagle and the condor will fly together and the world will come into balance at a point of near extinction. Our people are becoming the face of the environmental movement and this hasn't happened by accident. We have a deep spiritual connection to these places, this place we call Mother Earth. From the Beaver Lake in Northern Alberta who have set a legal precedence by launching a litigation highlighting the tens of thousands of treaty violations created from tar sands extraction, to the Unistoten that have set up blockades stopping the construction of gas, oil and tar sands pipeline through their territory in Northern BC, to the Ilsipuktuk First Nation in New Brunswick in Eastern Canada fighting the fracking of shale oil on their sacred lands, to communities here in the United States like the Hidatsu, Arikara and Mandan in North Dakota challenging the development of the Bakken oil fields. And in the North, the Indigenous Inupiaq communities have stood up en masse challenging offshore drilling in the Arctic and it's resulted in Shell pulling their application to drill. As we continue to the South, the Nahuatl and the Otomi people of Mexico are rising up against the exploitation in their traditional territories, working alongside groups like the Zapatistas. The Awahoon in Peru challenging illegal exploration and exploitation in the Peruvian Amazon. The Quechua people of the Sariacu in Ecuador fighting oil and gas exploitation in their traditional territories in Ecuador. Indigenous people globally are demanding recognition of who we are and there is an undeniable resurgence of indigeneity and indigenous people reclaiming their places and spaces in society. This couldn't be more true than what we are witnessing in the environmental movement. I have found allies and kinship within the environmental movement and I've begun to find hope. I've begun to believe that we can stop this destruction and start this process of healing and reconciliation and decolonization and challenging the status quo of the blind acceptance and the marginalization of indigenous peoples. It's time to set aside those differences and walk side by side. Share our strategies, share our resources, and build a movement that benefits everyone equally.